Good morning. This week we begin reading in our annual Torah reading cycle about the family of Abraham and Sarah and the work that they do in the world as they lay the groundwork for the development of the Jewish people. Nachmanides, the medieval Torah commentator, a scholar taught that events in the lives of the patriarchs and matriarchs were a paradigm for what would happen in the future, in future, later generations. The concept is known by the phrase, Ma'ase avot siman levanim, everything that happens to the parents is a sign for the children. He claimed that when the Torah tells us stories about, for example, journeying or the digging of wells, these actions tell us what will happen in the future. So the digging of wells that he refers to here are the wells dug first by Abraham and then later re-dug by his son Isaac. Wells are, of course, so important in the desert. And they're structures where, through human effort, water is able to come up to the surface from an underground source. In the Torah, digging a well marks a territorial claim to a plot of land. And wells become centers for community gathering. It's at the well that people draw life-sustaining waters for themselves and for their animals and for the food that they grow. And it's at the wells where people fall in love and marriages are made and treaties are, are created and hospitality is offered. In Judaism, these underground aquifers point us to the infinite life and sustenance that flows just beneath the surface. And in order to tap that flow and be sustained by it, we have to dig down and remove rubble that may impede our access to it and create openings so that those living waters can well up to the surface. And then we're able to drink from those waters and sustain others as well. So after Abraham's death, Isaac returns and redigs the wells from the days of Abraham, which the Philistines had stopped up after Abraham's death. And the Torah tells us something very beautiful that Isaac then called the wells by the names that his father had called them. He restored his father's wells, and we might say that he reconnected with the life-affirming sustenance of generations past. And after this, he and his servants then found and dug out their own wells and called them by their own names. Everything our patriarchs and matriarchs did was imprinted onto existence, and the echoes of these actions appear in later generations. So we're standing here today, ready to symbolically break ground, and in doing so, recreate a structure for accessing life-sustaining waters that will help nurture our Jewish community and the St. Louis community for years to come. We are, like Isaac, the inheritors of our parents' wells and the wells of visionaries and community builders that have come before us. And now we break ground today to ensure that our Jewish community will continue to drink fresh and living waters now and for many years to come. <laughs>